two, three, and... I think that, for the most part, the, my music has been able to be received, uh, at least somewhat understood and uh, enjoyed, I should say, by people all over the world, whether they speak um, my language or not. There is a message in the lyrics and in having that understood, and there's also a certain amount of humor in my lyrics as well, which is, you know, we all have our own sense of humor, obviously, culturally. But I would say that the challenge, the only challenge is, the biggest challenge perhaps would be uh, pre-misconceptions, mm -hmm. you know, uh, where they, people automatically think that they're not, not going to like it or maybe they're in the audience and they just, they don't want to enjoy themselves. Uh, there's other audiences where they just, they're open and ready to just have a good time and that's, that's certainly the easiest. It makes my job a lot easier. Anyone had ever seen, and I'd never get caught. I never bought the hook in line. Well, Pokey was a nickname uh, that I was given at a young age, you know, so that was, that's been with me my whole life. Uh, as far as Lafarge, it was, uh, it was just something that came about, not even starting out playing solo when it, you know, under my own name. It was, uh, it was just a, it was just a name, I think it was even almost a, a joke at the time, you know? And uh, it stuck, you know. Just it ended up becoming my stage name, and, and that was that. Yeah, no, no point in that. Uh, other than maybe it it, uh, it stuck because it, it certainly sounds a little bit more interesting than uh, that of my actual Christian name, you know. But I I am still that person, you know. My my actual name. I'm proud of that name, and, and intend on having children and passing that name on. So I'm not ashamed of it or anything like that. question. It's just as important to understand the music, be a student of it, uh, as much as it is to be yourself. Because if you're just there to, you're just playing this, mu playing other people's songs, um, and you're not adding anything new to it, then you're basically just a cover band and you're basically, uh, that's what you sh will be called retro. You have to understand that this music was was created uh, at a, from personal expression, um, from people being themselves and challenging themselves. Um, the reason why people become legends is because they go their own way, they go their own path. If you want to take it in the future, then you have to be yourself and be today. Um, with that being said, to people who know a lot about early American music. Um, my music is, to them, progressive or modern. But people who don't know a lot about early American music consider my music to be old-fashioned or retro. So it's kind of an interesting predicament. It's la la la, singing la la la. I'm so happy I'll be singing la la la. I think really with any genre, uh, specifically with early American music, because um, to me, country and, and blues and jazz, all different kinds of genres, uh, they're very, 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 very similar. Um, and in a lot of ways, they come from the same place. Usually, the music can, early American music can be differentiated with instrumentation, uh, tempo, and the content of the lyrics. Um, those sound like pretty stark differences, but really, they're not, you know. Uh, I mean, a blues song can easily become a country song. A country song can easily become a rock and roll song. Rock and roll, uh, jazz can be blues and country. Um, and a lot of it became rock and roll, you know. But then it's important to realize that rock and roll really had been played for 50 years at that point. Um, there was very subtle differences. It's important not to get uh, to pin yourself into a genre and say that this is this and this is that and understand that the reason why genres have these names in the first place is because record labels wanted to call it something so that they could sell it. I don't subscribe to that. I, I don't call my music 
any of those genres uh, exclusively. I just call it everything together. It's American, early American music. Um, it's modern music. It's it's progressive American music, but not just blues, not just country, not just jazz. Your troubles got you outnumbered. Know that you got to go somewhere. So that you can do something to ease your worried mind. Bob Wills, Jimmy Rogers, Lefty Frizzell, Ernest Tubb, Louis Armstrong, Jelly Roll Morton, Leon Redbone. The list is very, very long. Bob Dylan should be included in that as well.